Hey there, Papper people. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I want to discuss something that absolutely grinds my gears. Not really. Actually, it does annoy me just a little bit. So oftentimes when I'm talking to people about what CPAP is like, patients will say stuff like, oh, I'll bet you it's a lot like scuba or scuba diving. Recently, I was doing a recertification class with my son to get my son scuba certified. I wanted to make sure my skills were current and I had the instructor ask me about my job. When I mentioned it, he said, oh, CPAP? Oh, but that's a lot like scuba diving. <laughs> is breathing with scuba the exact same as breathing with CPAP? You know what, CPAPsupplies.com doesn't know, but what they do know is they want you to breathe while you're asleep. And to do so, if you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea, you are gonna need a machine. You're also gonna need a CPAP mask or masks, as well as some other supplies. So if you are sick of your current local DME who gives you no help, no guidance at all, and charges you an arm and a leg with inconvenient appointment times, uh, they don't know how to help you breathe underwater, but they do know how to help you breathe while you're in bed. Great deals on all of these. If you find a price better somewhere else, you let CPAPsupplies.com know that and they will match that price. You can purchase from them using cash. You can also use your Flex Savings account and they will also bill your insurance. CPAPsupplies.com wants to make it easy for you. They have tons of great products. They have an easy to use website. And when you're shopping, make sure you try Lefty20 to see if you can get as much of a discount as possible. And always, always check the coupon header at the top of their website for the best, most current deals. Thank you again, CPAPsupplies.com for sponsoring this video. First, let me uh, discuss the elephant in the room, my eye. Yes, my eye. Very simple explanation. It sure is simple, but we'll go ahead and discuss this in another video. That's right, I'm gonna drag this out. Okay, as far as SCUBA and CPAP are concerned, they are very, very different. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Air Pressure. Even if you're on bi-level, it's two different levels of continuous positive air pressure. No matter what, you're getting positive air pressure forced upon you at all times. It's always trying to maintain that one constant pressure the goal being to open up your airway. It is measured in centimeters of water. If you've ever seen a video I did, it's actually a column of water and how much pressure that is that raises that column of water by one centimeter. It's a very small column of water. A common pressure such as 10 just moves it up 10 centimeters. It's really not a lot. It's actually a very gentle pressure when you're talking about centimeters of water. When you're breathing with it, it's constant. It's always blowing. When you breathe in, it kind of tries to fill that void. When you breathe out, it kind of backs off, but it's always maintaining that one constant pressure at that time. If we're talking about CPAP and bi-level. Now breathing with scuba is very different. It is measured in PSI. And when you have that system, it is a supply and demand system. You have to initiate an inhalation for there to be any air delivered to you. It's not pressurized air either. You're having to suck it in. You're having to pull it in. With CPAP, it's coming in no matter what and you're just breathing normally. Breathing with scuba is very, very different. You have the pressure in the tank that is extremely high. It is 3000 PSI. That will blow your lungs apart. 100 PSI would blow your lungs apart. What you have is a system of two step-down regulators. You have one in the top of the octopus. That's a thing where all the tubes are coming out of. You have your two regulators. One's for you to breathe. One is in case your buddy's air goes out or they have a failure in their system and they can borrow yours. You have one step-down at that one point where it connects into the scuba tank and then you have another one right there in your regulator. It steps down the pressure so that you can handle it and it doesn't blow your lungs apart. So in fact, they are very different. Let me show you exactly how different they are. I'm gonna do a demonstration here in the pool. I'll just put a CPAP mask underwater and you can see exactly what it does. Then I'll go ahead and do some things where scuba actually is or can be kind of like CPAP in one very small scenario. And that is if your purge valve, that's a little button, you're wearing this thing here, if you push in on that and hold it, sometimes that can get stuck. And if it does so, it's just gonna be shooting a continuous supply of air, forced air. It's not a supply and demand at that point. It is just blowing air all the time. You can still breathe off of it. You don't wanna have your lips completely entirely sealed on it because then it will blow your lungs apart. You have to cock your head to the side and breathe, letting a lot of the air, escaped air just go out uh, as you're breathing and you're trying to ascend to the surface so you don't die on the bottom. But with scuba, it is purely supply and demand. If I breathe in, it releases. When I breathe out, I blow bubbles and it shuts off the system until I'm ready to breathe in again. CPAP is just like that. You're a freshly minted scuba diver 
Yep. You're now scuba certified. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think CPAP is at all like scuba diving as far as breathing is concerned? Uh, maybe a little bit. So what do you think it's gonna do if I put it in the water? Uh, no idea. No idea? It's a good answer. Let's find out. All right, after having seen what just happened right there, do you think that if I put this mask on and try to breathe underwater, it's gonna give me enough pressure? No, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you're gonna have to shoot back up, right? 14 centimeters. <laughs> it totally flooded like I pushed against the pressure. Uh, the pressure from under there wasn't enough to counteract the effects of the water. The water just kept leaking in and I was getting no air, like at all. Could I zoom in on your nipple? <laughs> Please, no. And I'll show you exactly what it's like to breathe with scuba on and how it's different from CPAP and using CPAP as far as the pressure goes. There's only one way where this is kind of similar to breathing with CPAP, sort of, on the surface. And I'll show you what that random situation is. Do you remember when we had the runaway? Regulator? Oh, yeah. This is what happens when you push on the purge valve. Listen closely, air only flows when I try to breathe in. Here is the stuck purge valve. This is the only thing that's even remotely close to CPAP breathing. Do I have any scuba certified people watching this video now? Let me know what you think. Is scuba the exact same as CPAP? Is CPAP the exact same as breathing with scuba? I would like to hear from you. Let's have some other people chime in on this. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you too are welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Check the description box down below for helpful links, helpful to me, maybe to you too. All right, thank you for watching. If you haven't at this time, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and try to have a great day. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Ray Troutman, Veronica Young, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, and Mona Swearingen. And thank you to my other level Patreon supporters, as well as my YouTube members.